Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use include and require function in PHP. So, for example, I have a, a PHP file which is just containing uh, uh, HTML code and which is just printing some header on the browser. So, I will just save it and I will, uh, I will just uh, browse for header.php and it's just printing programming knowledge here now sometimes or most of the times you want uh, some template to you know appear whenever you use uh, your PHP code so for example you want to use this template which shows this header in different PHP file okay so how can we do that so for example I will make one more PHP file and I will call it page page one dot p php and I will one more I will create one more PHP file and I will call it page two dot php okay so I have these two PHP file and I will just quickly make this template and in here for example I want that I want to use this header file okay so I want to make this header file once and I want to use this in different PHP pages okay in different PHP files how can I do this I can use this include function and include this header file in my php1 and php2 page so let's see how so what you need to do is you just need to use the keyword include and then in single quotes just give the name of your uh, header.php which you want to use here so my header php is like this header dot ph php okay now what this code will do is it will call this header dot php because all these uh, uh, three files are in same folder that's why i can call this uh, for example if you want to go up one folder you can use it like this or for example you want to use uh, some uh, if you have this file in some other folder inside you can use it folder slash something like this but because this these all three files are in the same same folder that's why I'm not giving any path here okay otherwise you need to give relative path uh, whenever you, your header files are in different folder and your uh, other functional file are in other folder okay now I can include this file in my page 1 and page 2 like this just use include and the name of the and then I can call page 1 so page 1 dot php and it will give me some kind of let's see what's the error I don't see any error here so let's try it once again okay this is page one dot and I have used comma here so instead of page one dot now it will work so whenever we call page one this header is called right this header and whenever we call page two dot php also this header will be called right so page 1 and page 2 has the same header right so this include function enables us to use the same template if you have in different php files now for example i have uh, i can declare some variable variable page 1 and i can show some message here so for example i can show we are in page one okay and we can echo this echo 
page one and in the same way I will do the same in my page two so this will be my page two variable this will be my page two variable and this will be two okay I save it and let's see what happens so we are in page one dot php and I can see this uh, echo message here we are in page one and whenever I call page two dot php we see we are in page two right so this include function just include the header and we will be able to do our other tasks which are inherently uh, done by page one and page two also in these uh, page one and page two dot php okay or for example you decide to use these uh, variables in this header file also you can do the this just like this so for example I can just declare in my header dot php I can just say php and in here I can declare this variable which is page one right page one I just cut it from here and in my header dot php in my php tags I can just paste it here and same I will do from my page two right so in a way I have declared all my variables in this header dot php and I want to use this these variables in page one and page two I will save it and once again run it let's see what happens so I can still get the same result here page one dot php will show me page one and page two dot php will show me page we are in page two right so in this way you can use the include uh, function to call files or files uh, or, and whatever uh, variables or whatever values are there in the files you can just import it in your php file just by using this include right in the same way you can use require function also so we can use instead of this include require function require and this will also work the same way that uh, of include so I will just save it and when I refresh this it works same as include function right for page one also it's it works same as include function but for example I am uh, I'm including some text before this page one variable page two variable and page one variable so for example I can just say page info and I just concatenate this in page two dot php and page one dot php okay and I save it and whenever I use this require here okay and whenever uh, this header name is for example by mistake I have missed misspell this header name so this is not a uh, I mean original header or header which exists this is non-existent header right in here also in our page 2 we just provide the path of the header which doesn't exist and we save it and when we refresh this we see here the warning and the error and we don't see this page info message even so what this required does is whenever it sees that uh, it cannot find this uh, header file or this php file which you have provide the path of then it kills your page so whatever you write or you whatever you want to execute after this include or after this require function and if this header is non-existent it will kill your page after that okay and this is same in the case of this but whenever we use include include here in page one and page two and save it see what happens I refresh it and even this is showing the error but it will execute your 
uh, messages or whatever functionality you are doing after uh, after your uh, include function also so this is printing page info right you can see here page info right so this include function even if you provide the wrong header name or a header which doesn't exist it will keep on uh, executing the other codes which you uh, write below your uh, include function so it will it will not kill your page on the other hand when you use require it will kill your page right so for example i will use require for page 2 and include for page 1 okay so let's see page 1 first which we have include page 1 refresh it it shows page info which is after my include right and let's see page 2.php page 2.php and now it killed my page and i cannot see the code i want to execute after this required function require function so include and require uh, works in the same way but but only difference is this which i have shown you so i hope you have uh, learned something new this time please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now